Chances against the renegades are pretty good. But no. Snack, isn't he, dear? Care to join? More the merrier. No, thank you. Oh, if I embarrassed you. I'm sorry, I do have that effect on people. I'll wait for you, but make it quick. I must admit, I admire your persistence. Almost curious what you do after I send you packing, yet again. You'll regret it. Sixteen-year-old Highland single malt. Modeled a year before the pandemic broke out. I've read that one barrel of this stuff sold at auction for over half a million dollars. <sighs> what a sublime present. in romance. Bad outcomes. What can I say? You broke down my defenses. So, you're still after those lamps. Did Matt tell you why he wanted them? Why he really wanted them? Yeah, to take control of the TV tower. Wait, he's serious? Is he crazy? Nobody tried that for over a decade. Matt wants to prepare to defend the city from the Butcher's coming attack. So, we should start building him a monument, right? Only problem? The Butcher isn't planning any attack. How do you know? I have my spies. Among the Renegades as well. Since the end of the war, we have occupied the city center. While the Colonel squats in the dam. One push of a lever. And half the city will find itself under toxic water. The Colonel is not stupid. He knows war would be the end of everything. What about the UV lamps? Why does he want them, then? Jack is hiding something. For a while now, he's been ordering way more lamps than he could possibly need. And then some of those lamps always disappear. No accounting for them once we deliver. Why would Jack skim UV lamps? And here, friend, the mystery takes flight. Jack never got over the fact that he didn't defeat the Butcher back when he had the chance, years ago. He knew that if he attacked the dam, the Colonel would close the floodgates, and the rising water levels would push the chemicals up out of the ground, burning through everything that lives in this city. It's been a stalemate for over 10 years, each waiting for the other, to make a move. But then, someone turned the power on and something changed. And the renegades attacked the canteen. I'm not here for my health, Juan. I need the lamps to- To find out what happened to your sister. Right, Aiden? I told you I got my spies. Might be able to find something out about Waltz and your sister. 
specifically about the GRE scientist you and Matt are trying to contact. I'd even say with my resources, I can find this person faster than Matt. I actually doubt he's able to find them at all. How do I know you're not using me to make a move of your own? I'm not your enemy, Aiden. It's a shame you don't see that. You'll get your lamps. You just gotta talk to Demolan. Who's he? He's my man. Sent him out to search for more lamps, but he hasn't checked in for a while. Where can I find him? Around here. Last I heard from him. Find him. Then come back to me here afterward. You got it. Well, you know where to go. Cried when the city lit up. Don't be afraid. Hey, is anyone there? Someone save me.
Good job, man. You showed him. You're a goddamn superhero. That beast had us trapped here. Wouldn't go away. It attacked us right as we got here. Mark got hurt pretty bad. We barely escaped and huddled up here. Finally went quiet not long ago. We thought that thing had wandered off. Next thing we hear is you banging on our barricade, and then it all started again. I'm looking for Demolin. You guys seen him? Up top. Uh, come on. Let's get you to a doctor. Thanks, man. If those lights don't go on, I need help! Hey, you're Demolin, right? I'm Aiden. Not bad. Not bad. Aiden? Nice to meet you. Your skills are exceptional, and you don't look like a peacekeeper to me. So who are you? Juan told me to check up on you and the lamps. Ah, the lamps. Piece of cake, he says. Huh, no such luck. We found a few, but it wasn't what you would call a bountiful harvest. And it came at great cost. The corporal killed by the beast outside has a brother in the unit. He will be devastated. 
He is at present with a squad down south on the lower dam promenade. They have not reported in. That doesn't sound good. We need to find him. The boy's mother lost her husband in a dark zone just last week. Now, a son. If her other son were to perish, it would be too much for any mother to bear. I'll try to find him. Okay. The boy's name is Sebastian. The islands are a dangerous area. Worse since the renegades overran them. Hurry! The faster you go, the more likely you'll find him alive. Great. Supply are quite a helpless bunch, it seems. What did you expect? There were ordinary people before the fall. Classmen, teachers, gardeners, no, not fighters. Renegades. More of them. Again? That's crazy. It has to be part of something the Butcher and Waltz are brewing. But why now? Better not be what I think it is. God damn it! Go after that light. Tobias, Sebastian, do you read? And I'm done. Yeah. To be God damn it! Bad idea, fucking. You want 
Nails you! Just give me a sign you're alive! found your men. Um, some of them, at least. I'm sorry to say, they're dead. Aiden? You sure? How many? Two bodies, both quite dead. The squad had five men. There are three others. There's still hope. Okay, I'll look for them. Totally berserk. It is crazy, I know. Something must have happened to them. They used to be regular soldiers, at least most of them. But now they're more like living virals. They're mad. They kill everyone in their path. Like mad? What do you mean? They say Williams treats them like animals, and they go wild. Well, the butcher is crazy, like they say. Crazy and unpredictable.
found him. Don't move. Who are you? Relax. The Demolin sent me. You guys all right? Me, yeah. Sebastian, not so much. How is he? Pretty bad. Goddamn renegades. Don't know why there's suddenly so many of them in the center. Came at us so hard and fast. Only Seb and I managed to get away. You able to walk? I won't leave him alone. Not when he's like this. He needs a new bandage. This one's a mess. I don't have any more. Listen. Did Demlin tell you about him? Oh yeah, about his brother and father? No, not that. Sebastian is an artist. Demlin promised him to take him one day to Marseille. To his father's shop. He can't die like this. Please. Think this should help? I'm sure it'll be fine. But I was sent here for the lamps. Where are they? After we drove off the renegades, we reached the building. To get in, we strung some ropes across from the next roof. And that's when the renegades attacked again. And the lamps? They're still on the landing pad on the roof. The military hit them well, made sure no one could see them from above. Seba only saw them from the next building through binoculars. But we didn't get a chance to finish securing the ropes. Is there any other way to get there? You could go through the building, but like I said, wall to wall biters. I gotcha. I'll try the rope. You'd have to be a spider to climb in. And then it's swarming with renegades outside. I like taking chances. Take this, contact Emelyn, and tell him what happened here. I'll go get those lamps. Yeah. <laughs> 
fine, but I took a fall. The lamps are busted in this one. Gotta take care of that thing up top and check the other container. Admit it. Juan's your type. What? I... The one? Get lost. Ah! <laughs> 
Oh well, that's more like it. Hey Demolin, got your lamps. A dozen crates, maybe more. All untouched. Très bien, my friend. Tobias told me you helped him as well. Many thanks. Tu es très débrouillard. Thanks. Whatever that means. There's too much for me to carry on my own, and no way I'd make it through the infected while loaded down. The boys can get to the roof and manage the lamps themselves. Hey, Juan? We secured the lamps, but the squad hit a snag when the renegades... Shh. Not over the radio. Come to my quarters on the ship.